Well, one of the top New Year's resolutions for a lot of folks is to quit smoking. And a new Roswell Park study published this week shows that adult smokers with no plans to quit are actually more likely to give up the habit if they switch to daily vaping. I talked with the lead on this study about why those findings are significant, but he also had a word of warning about e six it would be wonderful if nobody used any any nicotine products but that's not the reality of where we are there's almost 40 million cigarette smokers in the u.s and of those 40 million about 15 percent are considered to be the most highly addicted they're the focus of a roswell park study that shows daily vaping dramatically ups the quit rate in heavy smokers that had no plans to quit what we found when we followed these people over the course of a year those people that took up vaping daily um, were eight times more likely to quit smoking a year later compared to those people who didn't take up vaping or only vaped uh, on some days. The vaping study looked at 1,600 smokers who are also part of a much larger nationwide study on tobacco use. Andrew Highland is the chair of health behavior at Roswell Park and the scientific lead on the study. He said hardcore smokers aren't studied much and are often at the highest risk of health problems because of their bad habit. It really uh, suggests that at least for some people that Daily vaping may be a gateway out of cigarette smoking. It may give them hope uh, that they can go a day without cigarette smoking uh, and with some of that, that nicotine from the vaping products replacing the cigarettes. Now, let's be clear. Highland isn't giving a blanket green light to vaping because there are still toxins in e-cigarettes and still unknowns about the long-term effects of vaping. To me, it's about the phrase, under what conditions might vaping be helpful if any conditions. Vaping is almost certainly less toxic than cigarette smoking. Uh, most of the, the harm from cigarettes comes from the burning of the tobacco. When you burn it, it changes the chemical composition and that, that's what releases the 4,000 chemicals and the 60 or 70 or so carcinogens. Highland says any urge to quit smoking is worth pursuing and worth celebrating. He recommends talking with your doctor to help you craft a cessation plan. There are over-the-counter patches, gum, and medications that can take the edge off of cravings and even prescription meds to help you quit. And don't forget the free New York State Smokers Quit Line. He said quitting is tough, but worth it. Making the decision that you're going to try to quit and that it's important and it's something you want to accomplish in the coming year is the most important thing.